Okay, today y'all we are doing smoked shotgun shells. Manicotti stuffed with beef and sausage and cheese wrapped in bacon. Y'all come back. Hey y'all, I'm back. I know it's been a hot minute, but today we are going to do shotgun shells on the pit boss. I'm going back to Pit Boss, haven't used that one in a while. I'm using a mixture of ground beef and just breakfast sausage, regular. Go a little lean on the ground beef, like I think this is a 93.7. And we're just gonna mix this up. I'm gonna add eight ounces of sharp cheddar cheese, just because it's what I had. Use whatever kind of cheese. Is. I'm gonna use these hatch chopped green chilies in half of it because I want to see what it tastes like without and what it tastes like with. And then wrap it in regular bacon. So let's get this show on the road. Glove up, mix up some meat. Oh, and the manicotti shells, I parboiled these for about 90 seconds in rolling boiling water. Some people will make these ahead, let them sit in the fridge for at least four hours to, so the, the bite's not so tough with the pasta. But I, I'm not a prep ahead kind of girl. So I parboiled them for 90 seconds so they're a little bit more pliable. So you should be able to work with that. All right, so we're gonna mix this up. I'm gonna get the thing off the cheese here. Some pink. It's October. Breast cancer awareness. Yes, it's pink. And the wind is whipping outside North Texas today, y'all. It's been a windy, windy weekend here. Still really hasn't cooled down a whole lot. Looking forward to that. All right, so we're getting this in here. Let me get the cheese in. Whole bag, eight ounces. There we go. So now I can get in here with both hands. Get her done. Get it all mixed up. All right. So now it's mixed. This is the first time I've ever done these, y'all. So we'll see. I'm actually going to take one glove off and I'll use one hand to stuff the manicotti with. So, go. Thought about using a popping bag, like a Ziploc gallon bag, but then I thought, well, let's give this a shot and see how it goes. Oops, my shell is cracked, but that's okay. It's going to have bacon around it. Meat down in the center there. This is gonna take a hot minute. I'm not gonna make y'all watch me do all of these. I'll just do a couple, wrap them in bacon, and then we'll come back to them all being stuffed and done. Okay. Bacon. So from everything I've seen, it should only take one piece of bacon to wrap this. And you want to cover the shell as much as you can. I know, I don't have a glove on, y'all don't freak out, it'll be all right. And the bacon, you may have to work with this one, but there's one. Okay, y'all, we're back. We've got all of these stuffed and wrapped. These have the green chilies in them. So now I am going to dust these with some Cosmos Honey Killer Bee. I really like this stuff. I, I use it a lot. And then after the cook about, these are only going to go for about an hour at 300 degrees. Um, about 10 minutes before I am going to rub, put some of this smoky brown sugar from Stubbs on it. All right, so here we go. We're going to dust them up. I 
Get them over. So I'm using 14, a box of manicotti came with 14 shells in it, two pounds of meat. I'm gonna say that probably only you need a pound. We had some left over that we're doing a little experiment with. Had some bacon left over too, included that in the experiment. Maybe that's the next video. Oops, this stuff be flying everywhere. Okay. Now they're ready to go on the pit boss. Okay, we're out here in this Texas wind. These things are about to go on the pit boss. One hour, and then we'll brush them with sauce. Okay, so these have been on the smoker for about 50 minutes. So I took them off. We're gonna baste them up with this Stubbs Smoky Brown Sugar. Yeah. Get them all over. And Definitely, I recommend using the thinner cut bacon, the regular bacon, because the thick cut bacon is just not going to crisp up the way you would want it to on something like this. I've done like bacon wrap dates using both, and the thicker bacon just, it doesn't work out really well. Okay, so I'm going to just flip these over and baste the other side and put them back on for... 10, 15 minutes. So y'all come on back. Oh, they're done. They're done. Okay, so the shotgun shells, which these are pretty big. I'd hate to see the shotgun that these go in. It's kind of scary. Anyway, they're done. Actually took closer to two hours. So we took them off in about 50 minutes, an hour. Basted them with the barbecue sauce, the smoky brown sugar sauce from Stubbs. And then it took about another hour at 300 to get it where we wanted it. So now we're gonna take one we're going to cut it in half. We're going to see. I'm betting it's going to be real good. Oh, and it's got juicies. It's got juicies coming out of there. Now it's time for the bite. That's hot. That's still a little hot. I'll use my hand that's got the glove on it. Okay, so. I'm going to walk over here. See? Nice. Okay, now we're going to go back around. Take a bite. It's dripping. It's dripping. Oh wow, I really like that sauce. Um, adds a sweet note to it. And I'm almost tempted to say that the bacon, because of the size of these manicotis, I don't know if they come in different sizes or not. I'd almost be tempted to say one and a half to two pieces of bacon around it. Definitely parboil it or make it the night before. I feel like I got grease on the mouth or something. Anyway, but these are very tasty. This is the one with the green chilies. Very good. Definitely worth the effort of stuffing the manicotti. So 
yeah, y'all come back for the next video. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment. We want to hear from you. See the description below for details and helpful links to what we covered today. Hit that notification bell so you are alerted when we publish new videos. Check out our website at motherofsmoke.com for the latest things we are working on. Have a blessed day and keep smoking.